are here today as a part of our celebration of summer and arts and culture in Hartford. We are the Greater Hartford Arts Council and we are delighted to be here today as we prepare to launch all of our summer activities here in our great city of Hartford. The Greater Hartford Arts Council exists to be a catalyst for the arts, creating an equitable arts ecosystem. And I think it's important to note that as we think about our celebration of the great work we've all done together through the investment of Hartford Creates, through the $3 million investment of Hartford Creates over the course of the last two years, we know that that has created a return on investment of over $27 million to the Hartford economy. That's for celebration. and you get 27 for it. That's what the arts produce in this great city. So we are delighted to share with you information about what's coming up this summer and have the opportunity to present to you folks that are committed to the arts in this region. We are thankful for the ongoing support of the city of Hartford and we're also thankful for the support of Travelers Corporation, one of the major arts investors in this region Travelers itself invests over $3 million in the arts. That's worthy of celebration in Hartford. <laughs> Through the Greater Hartford Arts Council this past year, we've shared over 121 grants to local arts organizations, and we are delighted for the future that you will hear more about as we go forward this summer. And now, without further ado, we are delighted to present this city's new mayor, Mayor Arunin, who will share remarks. Mayor. Well, thank you, Shelley. Uh, this is, Hartford Creates is, is so incredible in our city. It's, it's brought almost a million people into our city in the last couple of years. It's employed almost 3,000 artists in the city. And, and Shelley spoke to the massive economic impact it makes. But it, it, it's an investment in one of the things that makes Hartford so great which is our art scene, which I think is among the best art scenes of any mid-sized city in America. We have an incredible art scene here. We have a historic art scene. You know, we're sitting here, uh, standing here under this beautiful calendar st uh, uh, statue right next to the nation's oldest public art gallery here, the Wadsworth. Um, we, we, have, we have an incredible jazz scene that started in many ways with Jackie uh, McLean in the city, but, but continues to this day. We still have some of the best jazz music in the area. We've got new festivals coming into the city. We've got, we've got murals all around this. I see, I see Corey I, Payne, I think, back there. We've got great murals coming into the city. Um, everywhere you look, there's art burgeoning in the city. And we're trying to bring that together uh, in the best way we can. And if you haven't checked out the art scene in Hartford, this summer is a great time to do that. Go to Jazz Fest, the largest public jazz festival in the country. Go check out, um, go check out some of the uh, music that's happening in our parks, some of the music that's happening in our historic buildings as the, as the wind knocks over the sides. Um, Hartford, I'm, I'll say one more time, has maybe the best art scene of any mid-sized city in America. And if you live in the area and you haven't checked it out, then shame on you. There is so much going on. This summer is going to be lit in Hartford and you should be a part of it. So thank you guys. And I will, with that, introduce our, our, an incredible champion for us in Washington, an incredible champion for the arts, our Congressman John Larson. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you, Your Honor. And it's a pleasure to be here. Thank you, John, uh, the Arts Council, for your incredible work. Uh, it's always a great source of pride uh, to come back home. And as the mayor was pointing out, to be here in this historic location, I couldn't help, and as I look at it in the audience, most of you are way too young to have remembered President Kennedy at the Times Building next door delivering a great speech in Harvard. And I find a quoting President Kennedy because he was a president who believed deeply in the arts and how important the arts are, not only to culture, but to the nation, I think he was quoting Frost when he said that uh, those who disdain the arts are in the situation where they are going to find themselves 
never having, never being able to look back with pride or look forward with hope. And the arts, as President Kennedy would say, provide the freedom for artists to seek the truth. And it's through seeking the truth and through being able to create that vision that a community, that a city, that a great state and nation can truly appreciate all that the arts have to offer. And as Frost said, all the pride and the hope that we have for the future. On behalf of the entire delegation who works together to make sure that this kind of funding is available, we contend continue to follow the lead of President Kennedy and invest in the arts. God bless you. God bless America. We are profoundly grateful for the support of Congressman Larson, and we recognize the importance of the entire delegation bringing resources back to Hartford. Let's give another round of applause for Congressman Larson. As we think about this summer and the activities that are coming up, we want to share with you the Hartford Arts Guide, and we are so grateful for this guide of activities that are coming up through the summertime, and this is because of our partnership with the Hartford Business Journal. We are grateful for the support of Hartford Business Journal, who is committed to the arts and the arts economy. Let's give a round of applause for Hartford Business Journal. Make sure you get your art guide. And the Greater Hartford Arts Council, we are fortunate to have a team of professionals that are doing great work. And not only are we professionals in the nonprofit world, but most of the members of the team of the Greater Hartford Arts Council are artists themselves. So we are creatives doing the work of advocating for other creatives. May the staff of the Greater Hartford Arts Council at least raise your hand so you can be acknowledged for all of your fabulous work supporting the arts and artists. For the first time in Hartford, because of the ARPA support, the Greater Hartford Arts Council has been in a position to fund over 121 individual artists from the great city of Hartford. And that's exciting for creativity rising up in Hartford. And one aspect of our artistry, of course, is jazz. Hartford is truly a jazz hub in New England, and we are delighted by the gifts that are right here in our midst. We recognize Nelson Bello and his phenomenal group that presented us with some great music at the beginning. And we are getting ourselves ready for what's coming up towards the end of the summer, the great celebration of the Greater Hartford Festival of Jazz. On the board of directors of the Greater Hartford Arts Council, we are grateful for the support of all of our board members. Robert Braswell, who is our board chair and who is a part of Travelers Corporation. And we are delighted that they allow us to have one of their top staff as a leader of our organization. And of course, we are grateful as an organization for the support of Hanif Nelson, who is a working artist, finishing his doctorate especially in jazz, and so he is doing work around this community to introduce jazz to everyone so people know more about the great legacy of the city, and he is the vice president of the board of directors of the Greater Hartford Arts Council. Without further ado, let's bring on Hanif Nelson. Thank you very much. You know, Hartford has a very rich legacy of jazz that I think we sometimes aren't quite aware of. Our legacy in jazz goes back over 100 years. It goes back to Prohibition, when the North End had tons of speakeasies where live music was being played. It goes back to the early 20s, when Duke Ellington used to come here and play solo piano for service members. Through the 40s, when the great Teddy Wilson had a weekly engagement here. So we have a very rich legacy in jazz. And as such, we're so happy that we get to present the Paul Brown Monday Night Jazz Series, which is the longest running continual jazz series in the country. The Greater Hartford Festival of Jazz, the longest free public jazz festival in the country here in Hartford. And when we talk about jazz, 
Jazz is the soundtrack of Hartford. You can't look at one era in the growth and development of the city where jazz was not a part of it, where jazz was not an ingredient of it, where jazz was not a catalyst in it. In addition to our jazz festivals, for the second year, thanks to the Greater Hartford Arts Council, thanks to the efforts of Congressman Larson, thanks to the efforts of the city of Hartford, we have what's called jazz activation events around the city. We're partnering with theater work. We're partnering with Black Eyed Sally's. We're partnering with the library system. We're partnering with all these different places. We're presenting lectures, concerts, all kinds of things, both informational, educational, and performance space to augment what's already a rich legacy of jazz in Hartford. So as we move on, I want all of us to remember that jazz is an essential ingredient to our city. And let's continue to celebrate that. I'll give this back to Dr. Best. Thank you, Hanif. You definitely want to hear him in full action. Make your way to Black Eyed Sally's on a Wednesday night and you will experience the jazz culture of Hartford live and right here in the city. As an organization, as we think about what's coming up this summer, we are delighted by the organization and the network of arts professionals in this region. We want to uplift those who are arts leaders who are here representing various organizations. Just give a hand wave if you're here representing an arts organization today. We call this a movement of creative disruption. We're changing the system, the society, the network, the community by bringing creatives into the midst of what's happening to uplift and change our community. The creative disruption movement is part of social change through the Greater Harper Arts Council. You'll be hearing more about this later on in the year as we have our Creative Disruption Summit, and it's a chance for capacity building for arts organizations so we can continue to grow our businesses and grow the impact of arts in this region. We also want you to know that we are embarking on a major project to crowdsource the arts. We know that the arts needs more resources. We're grateful for the art for support, but we know that that's coming to an end. And so we, as people committed to the arts, need to be a part of organizing resources for the arts. And so we present to you a new initiative that's coming about, and that is the Art Mosaic. We are going to crowdsource a 20-foot mural that will be installed here in downtown Hartford. And the way the Art Mosaic works is an illustration has been created by the phenomenal artist Ellis Escobaria. That iconic image then will be created and recreated with mosaic pixels of individual Hartford and regional people. And so with the gift of $200, you become a pixel in this 20-foot crowdsource mural. You'll hear more about it through the Greater Hartford Arts Council. Look at our website, Let's Go Arts, and be a part of crowdsourcing the arts. We as a people need to make the arts happen, and that happens through your investments. We are so grateful once again for the support of Harper Business Journal, Connecticut Public, who is supporting us with spreading the word, and Fox 61, because we won't do it without getting the word out as we continue to support the arts moving forward. With that being said, that concludes our time together as this press conference, but it's an opportunity for questions and answers if you have any. And of course, the mayor is still here if you want to ask him some things, or Congressman Larson as well. Arts related. Okay. Well, once again, thank you all for your support and have a wonderful weekend and a wonderful rest of the day.